Hello Stampin' Friends and welcome to another card class from Linda's Stampin' Escape. Welcome, welcome. I am Linda and today I am going to share some fun tips and different ways which you can use your Patrick Pieces dies. And in specific terms, I'm going to use the wavy die. So I'm going to show you a few easy techniques that you can combine with this beautiful patchwork pieces dies and all its glory. So we are going to rainbow it today. And we have these fabulous colors to start out with. Let's move this one out of the way and begin with our colors. Again, we are going to use the wavy dye today. And I have Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, Real Red, Gorgeous Grape, and our In Color Starry Sky. So we're going to use those five colors, which I cut one of each of these. And my piece is cut to three and a half by five inches. So that gives me a little border all the way around, which I will use. And then I mat it on a coordinating, or should I say a different color way out of the box. Um, and those pieces are cut at three and three quarters by five and one quarter. So those are your core dimensions that I used for these cards. And then let me just say you have a whole bunch of opportunities to create a bunch of fun cards. So there's just a couple leftovers there. Um, and let me grab, there's, there's one more. So I'm going to just tuck these all aside because these are future cards. And I just have them set up and ready to go for when I get an inspiration for something else. So my first card here, let's start out. We're just going to do simple. This is our card base and uh, not the base, excuse me. But the mat that we're working in, this is the three and three quarters by five and a quarter inch. And then these are all of our little pieces. And I just take them randomly. Um, sometimes I use them as the rainbow pattern. So there's lots of different variations and ways you can use this. So I am going to use our Tombow liquid glue on this and I need to get it started. There we go. This just gives me the flexibility of moving it a little bit. I try not to move it a lot because I don't like the glue spots like that. So flip that over. You know, they say God created two sides of our cardstock so we Never had to show some of our boo-boos. All right, so we're just going to push that down. Besides, there's not a little, little skinny tape that actually fits in there, is there? So now we got some bright pattern colors already going. So I'm going to flip this. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? But I'm going to start here with this corner piece. And I just want to make sure that my edges, my corners, are all done nicely. That way they won't pop up on you. Okay, just tuck it right in the corner. This is going to be like putting a puzzle together. And this one's kind of fun because I chose my rainbow colors pretty much as close as I could get to primary as I could. So this will make great kids cards, but the 
colors are just fun for just about anybody. Okay, let's go this way here. So, yep, you can twist and turn this and whatever way you have to to get your pieces on the easiest. And again, it's just fun to play with. You can see that pattern emerging right away. And I did this live last night, but my internet went down, so I am doing this again. So hopefully I'll whip in a couple extra tips in there. So my rainbow actually started yellow, orange, and red. And then we'll do the purple, and then of course blue fits in, so it's going to the other side. Which works kind of neat on this one, because it's going to give more of our dark colors my edges and I have such a bold border with that daffodil delight going on there so whoops tuck that in the corner there and then we'll do our last two pieces in the gorgeous grape so nothing fancy here with our pieces we are just gluing them in and creating our rainbow there we go and I must have squished my um, frame a little bit when I got it on because normally these just whip together really easy. And it's still working for us. Never give up, right? Ooh. Flip that over. And in it goes. I love the fact that they have the stitched edges. It creates some fun texture and dimension on your card. There we go. Got to get that little guy down there. And then I'm going to flip this over and brush it down or burnish it, as they say, with my tool here. There we go. And now we are going to stamp our greeting. And I have a little template here. Actually, I don't think this is my template. I think this is my um, card, my little card piece I was stamping on. So I am just going to use a larger one here, a little bit bigger than normal, but I like it because it's pink. And the reason I like the pink is because I can see my white better here. So um, let me see here. I got something to tack that down with. Yep, there we go. Then it won't move on me. So tack that down. That'll be nice and sturdy. Since my frame is daffodil, I am going to use my first color in daffodil. And it's going to say, thinking of you. And I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. And our template there helps us line this up nice. Get, bring that in just a little bit. Clean off my stamp there. And then we are going to go into the starry sky. And both of the greetings come from our circle saying stamp set which you see right here all right there we go circle sayings and it comes with the coordinating two and three inch punch so that is the bundle on that one we can just pull this off, take out our template, and then punch our greeting. Now to finish off this card, we are, this is just our simple card. Um, you can put this anywhere you want it. You can tuck it way up in the corner. You can leave it down here. And you can move this guy wherever you want to. 
um, here is another one that I did and I mounted it this way and I used a black card base and I added three of the blue these are called tinsel gems so the tinsel gems four pack and the color is actually blueberry bushel but it goes nice enough with our starry sky so again you can do it this way or you can do it this way so give you a couple different ideas and you can back this with any color um, white would make your greeting pop or you could use anything in your rainbow stash now while i have this basic one here i wanted to quick share another card that i already had posted on my blog but again i did nothing i made a larger frame here as you can see so this piece is probably five and a quarter by four inches and then when I die cut it, I just left two of these pieces, which are Lost Lagoon, and I let that gorgeous peacock, the pretty peacock color shine through. So, so many different ways you can use this. Now I want to show you another way. We'll get you up to the frame here. And this guy all put together and I want to show you something fun. Sometimes when, especially for those of us who have been stamping for a while, it's been over 23 years for me um, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we forget to go back to the basics. So that's what I'm doing here with this fun little technique and I'm using the Versamark ink, which is a watermark, and that is just going to give us a fun pop of color. I like color on color, but the Versamark takes all that hard work out for us. And it allows you to do it on multiple colors like we have on our rainbow card. And it just brightens up that color. So when it's all done and really sinks into this, you're, you're just going to love this effect. It is so cool. And so easy. Doesn't matter where you stamp. You can get right up to that edge. And there we go. Isn't that cool? Such a simple technique, <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but um, I had a little fun in the 70s, and that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> this cute little flower comes from the Crafting With You stamp set, and actually you can purchase the set a bundle and save... Um, 10%. There's all the fun dies. It has a basket and a ruler and a paper cutter and a sewing machine. And I mean, this is really for your crafty friends. I have a lot of friends that not only stamp, but they quilt. So this is perfect for them. Love this. Just love this. Okay. So that is where I got my little flower and we stamped it in the Versamark. Um, now we're going to do a greeting. Let's pull back that starry sky because I'm going to pull that blue right from there. You can see I got some blue samples here and I pre-cut this. This is from the Stylish Shapes dies. If you are a collector of dies, I hope these are in your bundle, your stash at home because these are so versatile and you can use them on anything. And I love the fact that it has the stitching on it, so it coordinates so nicely with these patchwork dies. So let's grab the greeting from our Crafting With You. Because we're going to be sending out handmade hugs. How cool is that? All right. 
close this up. Clean off our there we go and now we are ready so I'm just going to take a little bit of this glue back here just swirl it around and then I'm going to grab a couple pieces of I think I'm going to go with this little bit bigger one and the little skinny one here and I'm going to put the fatter one on the bottom or should I say thicker I'm just going to hold that up to the light. I know you can't see it, I'm sorry. But I'm just holding it up to the light so I can line it up with my greeting here. And I'm going to do the same with the top. There we go. And your scrap paper just turned into... An embellishment. How cool is that? Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're just going to snip here. I'm going to flip it this way and snip here again. Doesn't have to be real large, but we are going to put this one right smack dab in the middle so our whoops, so our colors kind of shine through over here. And like I said, you can place this anywhere. And let's get out our dimensionals and lift this up. I like to put my dimensionals, whoops, is that little bit of glue on there yet? Over the top of my either die cut or scraps or whatever you want to call them. And I like to do that because I know they're going to be held down and stay there. All right, now we're just going to pick our little tops off here with our take your pick tool. And we are going to just pop that right smack dab in the middle. So our blue shines through, so we have a nice streak of blue running through. And then our blue popping out, so it all coordinates so nicely. And then you can just mount that on a piece of white. I thought since I did the other one in black, I would do this one in white. So now you have a choice. You can pop this up with your dimensionals and lift the whole card front up, or you can just glue it down. So there is our second one, and just remember that stamping with your Versamark, your watermark ink pad, will give you such a neat and subtle technique and look. So, easy technique, subtle look. All right, so that was card number two. Now, card number three, I just put together for you to share with you, and... One easy way is once you have your um, little puzzle all put together and you have whatever colors you want to use, you don't have to use rainbow. Um, you can do colors for Halloween. You can do colors for Christmas, whatever you wish. And then before you attach it to that card base, run it through your um, cut and emboss machine with your favorite folder. On this one, I used Time Worn Type, but I should have used Little Flowers or something because I made a um, Feel Better Soon card, and I got that from the Wanted to Say dies. So it's not showing on here. You can see that these come in a set of two. So lots of dies in here. Happy birthday, celebrate, feel better soon, and you're too kind. So lots of fun stuff in there, including flowers and little bows and stars, of course, which is my team name. And then we have the hearts. So the feel better soon comes from wanted to say, and then the time-worn type run through before 
you put it on your card base. And that gorgeous paper underneath is the specialty iridescent 12 by 12 paper that you can find right in the annual catalog. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. I'll bring back all three of these cards. They are on my blog. However, with the little upset that we had last night, <laughs> I didn't get the video. So that's why we're doing that. So I thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Feel free to comment. And if you see this on my blog also, and feel free to um, follow me so you can get more inspiration with your cards. And I have plenty of tips to share. So you have a wonderful day and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you very much.